Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News, a weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. That being said, the first thing we're going to talk about this week is the fact that X Games is back. And they're back in Pat Casey's backyard? For BMX at least, when it comes to park and dirt, it will be happening in Pat Casey's backyard, the dream yard, and ESPN and X Games released a video, and it's kind of like a promo for X Games 2021, which will be going down July 14th through 18th, and it's saying that X Games wasn't born in an arena. And then it says that this X Games is going back to where it all started. So for BMX, that means apparently Pat Casey's backyard. And then when it comes to street, it's happening at the CA training facility. So it's kind of interesting to see this and the events that will be held are BMX Street, BMX Park, BMX Park Dave Mira Best Trick, BMX Dirt, and BMX Dirt Best Trick. So all of that's happening and there's not going to be any spectators at all. It's going to be invited athletes only. And it's kind of an interesting concept that I feel could be very polarizing to some people. There's a lot of people saying, well, great. Now the people who ride Pat Casey's backyard all the time have an advantage. To that, I would say they have plenty of practice times for X Games. So the people who don't ride it all of the time are going to get their share of time practicing and they're professional BMX riders. I feel like if they can't adapt to it and ride it at their best, then I don't know, maybe they didn't deserve to win anyways. But it could be argued that the guys who ride it all of the time and know all of the lines and ins and out do have an advantage. So I'd be curious to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. But the invited riders are as follows. For BMX Street at the CA Training Facility, we have Alex Donicky, Dennis Anderson, Chad Curley, Lewis Mills, Kevin Peraza, Felix Prangenberg, Matt Ray, and Garrett Reynolds. Then for Dirt, we have Andy Buckworth, Pat Casey, James Foster, Jake Leva, Kevin Peraza, Jay Tuhi, Bryce Tryon, Colton Walker, and Ben Wallace. I haven't seen Colton Walker's name pop up very recently, so that's cool to see. What do you guys also think about the fact that Pat Casey is going to be competing at an event in his own backyard? That could be an understandable advantage when you literally live there and ride there every single day if you want to. But once again, these are some of the best BMX riders in the entire world that he's going against. So if anyone's going to give him a run for his money in his own backyard, it's going to be these people. Then we've got BMX Dirt Best Trick with Andy Buckworth, Jake Leva, Jay Tui, Bryce Tryon, Colton Walker, Ben Wallace, and Ryan Williams. New name in there. That's pretty interesting. It's also interesting to see that BMX isn't going to have a big air or vert in X Games this year. Then for Park, we've got Pat Casey, Larry Edgar, Jeremy Malat, Kevin Peraza, Marin Rantes, Daniel Sandoval, Mike Varga, and Ben Wallace. Notice that none of the Olympic competitors' names are showing up here, probably because the Olympics is literally going down the next week after X Games, but that's going to make things interesting as well without their names in there and without some of the best riders in the entire world coming to this X Games you see some names that you might not have seen show up and I think that's going to make things pretty interesting so for the BMX Park Dave Mira best trick contest we've got Jacob Bailey Pat Casey Dennis Anderson Jeremy Malott Marin Rantes Daniel Sandoval Jay Tuhi Mike Varga and Ryan Williams in there as well interesting to see that Ryan Williams only shows up in the best trick contest but the dude's got best tricks so with that, let me hear you guys' thoughts in the comments down below on the entire aspect of X Games for BMX this year. I think it's going to be cool to watch these things and I hope that they still televise it. I think it's gonna be kind of weird to not see fans and not be in the arena and everything, but maybe it could be a good thing. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I did want to talk about it with you guys. From there, we've got more X Games stuff. The X Games Real BMX 2021 teaser was dropped this past week, and the competitors are as follows. We have Courage Adams, Chad Curley, Julian Molina, Felix Prangenberg, Brock Rayford, and Jake Seeley. Pretty cool to see that Julian Molina is coming back after winning fan favorite last year. Courage Adams being in this one is a good name as well. Felix Prangenberg, Brock Rayford, Jake Seeley, Chad Curley. These are all really good names and people that I think will put in work to try and win X Games Real BMX medals. Once again, let me know your guys' thoughts on these choices in the comments down below. You think Julian Molina is in again for fan favorite? If he puts out a video like he did last year, I think he will easily win fan favorite, especially after that rumble in Richmond thing where he jumped the gap after being towed in by a literal motorcycle or dirt bike whatever it was jumped that 30 foot dirt jump 
That was wild, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. So moving on from there, the next thing that we have to talk about this week, there's so many event things to talk about. So the Battle of the Brands or Riding Edits came out this past Monday. Eclat, Shadow, Cinema, and Odyssey. I did a live stream watching all of them and kind of live reacting to them. And Cinemas was my personal favorite and they got my vote. And I'm curious who you guys voted for. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'm gonna check real quick to see if voting is still open and when it actually closes because the winner is announced July 5th. So as far as I can see, and as of right now, voting is still open for the Battle of the Brands riding edits. So get on over there and get your last minute votes in because I have no idea when it closes and I couldn't find anything said but after that we have the rumble in richmond jam that we have to talk about this week this was a jam where there was literally a 30 foot dirt jump that everyone had to pedal their ass off to jump and send it and as you could see there was lots of broken parts and crashes and gnarliness if you paid attention to it this was put on by steve crandall and rad share and breakless tv tried to do one of their live streams with it unfortunately it was a little bumpy this time again as well but they uploaded the full play playback so it's perfect for you guys to watch if you want to see it and I have that linked in the description down below but if you don't want to watch that entire hour-long thing dig did it in the cut video where it's like a 10 minute highlights video from the event showing all of the best stuff and there was some crazy crazy stuff that went down here Tommy Crail he's a guy who's kind of a local legend here in Ohio and Pennsylvania area he did a flip whip over this thing Larry Edgar just destroyed his forks on it doing a 360 tuck to table that was like insanely high and it's just a crazy event overall Crandall did a great job putting it on breakless TV tried to live stream it I really hope that they keep working at this and iron out the kinks and I hope that we see more of this soon because it's been a little while since we've seen something from breakless TV then from there we've got a bunch of videos to talk about this week there's so many people who are welcomed to companies with videos this week starting with Nick Bruce Welcome to DK Bicycles, as I predicted last week. I'm sorry, Nick. I got a text very shortly after that video went live. I'm sorry. I didn't know that Nick was actually on DK. I was just speculating, and I kind of had a good guess from where the frame decals were blacked out. But I'm sorry if I hurt anyone's feelings by putting it out there too soon. But Nick's welcome video is now live. It's a quick video of him riding in his warehouse and absolutely killing it as he always does. How he has those court 720s, whatever you want to call them, both directions is crazy. And then doing the no hander in it. It's just one of those tricks that looks super good. And this is a good one for all of you guys who are into park riding to check out if you want to see that kind of video this week. Then on the opposite side of the spectrum, we've got Mike Stahl, welcome to SM Pro. He got the bump to the pro team on SM and it came with this video. And it's the opposite end of the spectrum because you know Mike Stahl's riding and you know that he's an absolute street shredder and he does not put out videos that are not top notch. So after that, we had Kasson Downing, welcome to Kink as well with a video, then Victor Munoz on volume and demolition that also had its own video. So then after all those welcome videos, we got a couple more videos worth talking about this week. First, we've got 32 days and counting from Joel Sutton here in Ohio, followed by the next episode in the Fingers Crossed series, episode number five, El Tour. And from what I can gather from write-ups about this video, because of the fact that it's in Spanish when Ruben and the people are talking and I don't speak Spanish, what I can gather in these descriptions is that they're testing samples of the production units that they're going to be putting out of these fingers crossed suspension BMX mountain bike hybrids. They're shredding them throughout this video on all different trails and jumps and it looks like they're holding up and if anyone speaks Spanish or knows what they're saying at the beginning and the end of this video, let us know in the comments down below. I'm excited to see what ends up happening and when these bikes hit the market, if they start popping up and maybe I'll even see one this winter at Ray's sometime. Then we've got a video with Colony from their Tamworth road trip with a bunch of the Colony guys, followed by Sheet and Wisley springtime sessions. This is a trails video for all you trails guys out there. Then we had another promo for Scott Marceau's Angles full length video. This one's called Pinch Flat. And I wanted to make sure that I talked about this one and not only because of the fact that I got a couple clips in the full length video. Thank you again for that, Scott. But also because of the fact that it's going to have its worldwide premiere July 10th at the Cult Clubhouse in Santa Ana, California, followed by another premiere a week later in Denver at Philly B's Backyard. 
So then after that, we've got some product related things to talk about this week. First up, we've got Angie Marino's Vans colorway, followed by the new Sabrosa Rose frame. This frame, according to their website, is their first frame that helps bridge the gap between an 18 inch bike and a full size 20 inch bike. And I'm assuming that this frame is out there because they got a couple young shredders on their team in Beast Murata from Instagram. So all Jake Rekowitz and Kevin Robinson Jr. All of those guys are like right between the 18 to 20 inch frame size and the fact that they're making these frames to cater to their young shredders and young shredders everywhere is pretty cool to see honestly after that we've got a promo for animals pop-off stem which is made in america followed by an interview this is nick bruce's welcome to dk bicycles interview with vital bmx and i genuinely enjoyed this one because nick was very transparent about why he left total and why he wanted to ride for dk i don't know the full details or if there's anything that he didn't talk about but it didn't seem like he held anything back in talking about honestly why he left total and then honestly why he wanted to ride for DK and I thought it was a really good interview overall Kyle Carlson does a fantastic job with these interviews and I'm assuming this is like the next one in the Olympian interviews that he's been doing because Nick Bruce is also going to the Olympics and they did talk about that a little bit so with that being said let me know your guys thoughts on X Games being held in Pat Casey's backyard this year or anything else that I talked about in this week's BMX news video and if you're new here or you haven't yet I hope that you enjoyed it enough to hit the subscribe button while you're down below leaving a comment. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.